Hello and welcome back. My name is Anthony and in this video I will show you how to use the SendFox email marketing platform in under 15 minutes. This video will give you a good understanding of SendFox and it will teach you how to use the different tools within the platform. So let's get straight into it. As you can see we are on the SendFox landing page right here. The first thing that I'd say to do is go to the pricing page and you can see that there are three different plans. You have the free plan, the lifetime plan, which gives you lifetime access for a $49 single payment. And once you have purchased the lifetime plan, you can upgrade with the Empire add-on, which is another $18 per month. I am just using the lifetime plan, so I have paid my $50 and I now have lifetime access to the SendFox platform. So let's go back to the home page and to sign up you simply need to enter in your email address and then click get started. Once you've done that you will need to add your name and a password and then you can create your account. So I already have an account so I'm going to log in right now. Once you have signed up and logged in to your SendFox account you'll be taken to your dashboard. So here you can see how many people have subscribed to your email list along with a couple other stats as well. Now you may also see a checklist if you have only just created your account. This is the checklist that you will see. So by completing the items on the checklist you'll be given an extra 500 contacts in your account. This means you'll be able to send emails to another 500 people. So the checklist consists of four things. Add your blog, podcast or YouTube channel so that SendFox can start to automatically generate smart campaigns. Share your landing page to get more subscribers. Set up and send your first email. And take your email marketing to the next level by purchasing the lifetime plan, which as you can see, I have already done. So I recommend completing this checklist. It's not very difficult. It doesn't take very long and it will give you 500 extra contacts, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is go to the settings because there are a few things that you need to do within your settings. So simply click the three lines at the top and then click the settings button. Now we can see our account settings. So first of all, we have my name, email address and physical address as well. And below all of that, you have your custom URL. So I recommend putting in your name or your username, something that you want the URL to be for your primary smart page. Now the primary smart page is basically a landing page that you can create within SendFox. Once you've filled in all of this information, simply click save down here. And then we are going to go to the web presence tab. Now, as I said earlier, by adding your blog, podcast or YouTube channel, SendFox will be able to automatically generate smart campaigns and send them to your email list subscribers. So whenever you create and publish new content, SendFox will send it to whichever email list you select. So this is an easy way to promote your new content. So simply add all of the content that you can right here. I don't have a podcast, but I do have a YouTube channel and a blog. So first of all, I will enter my blog URL and click add source. And then I will also enter in my YouTube channel URL and click the add source button again. And now SendFox will be able to access your content as you publish it. So now let's scroll down and we can see your social media. So if you connect your social media profiles down here, it will allow you to include your social media icons in the footer of the emails that you send through SendFox. So I'm simply going to click update down here to save all of the changes that we have made. I'm going to skip API because we are not going to need to look at that right now. So we can go to domains and here we are able to validate a domain name so that SendFox can send your emails from your domain name rather than it saying at sendfox.com in the emails that are sent from you. So I'm simply going to type in my domain name just here. And then I'll click the add domain button. 
Now we just need to validate it. So click the validate button. And to complete the validation, we simply need to go to the provider where we purchased our domain name and add all of these CNAME entries in to the DNS settings for our domain name. Once you've done that, you can simply click validate and it will validate your domain name. Next, we can go to lists. The only setting here is whether or not we want to require double opt-in, but this option is only available if you have the Empire add-on. And as I do not have that, I don't even have this option anyway, so we can skip past that. And then we have billing, which of course we can ignore. This will just be where your billing information is. So now let's go back to the dashboard. And we are simply going to go through some of the features within SendFox. So first of all, we have lists. You can create lists to separate your email subscribers. So as you can see, this one has been created by default. This is called my first list. And there are currently no subscribers in this list because it is a brand new account. So to start getting subscribers, you can either create a smart page or a form. So let's have a look at smart pages. Once again, this is empty as we do not yet have any smart pages. So you can either create one from scratch by clicking this button here, or you can click on this down arrow and use the smart page assistant. With the smart page assistant, you can simply paste in your website URL and click create smart page and it will use your content to automatically create a smart page for you. Here we go. So we have an image on the left and on the right it says get my best updates delivered to your inbox. Join my email list and get my favorite content regularly. And it also says unsubscribe at any time. So the smart page has been created for us. Now, if we need to, we can edit it by clicking edit smart page just here. And we can edit the title and the landing page content. So this is all of the text within the smart page. Then we have the visual settings as well. So you can either display a logo or display a name. You can add your own theme color to your page as well. So let's say for example, if I change it to blue and then in a minute when we click save, we can have a look. And then we have our page image as well. You can remove it and add an image that you prefer if you want to. So now I'm simply going to enter my name up here. Then I'll click save. And at the bottom left down here, we can now view the page. So as you can see, the color has changed and we have my name at the top as well. So this is basically a landing page that you can use to get people to subscribe to your email list. So let's go back. We don't need to make any changes for now, but if I go back to the smart pages tab, we can see that we now have our first smart page created. Now, if I click on lists again up here, we can see that by creating that smart page, it has automatically created a list called landing page signups. So what this will do is make it so that all of the people that subscribe to our email list through this smart page will be added to this specific list. So then when we go ahead and create an email, we can write our email content knowing that it's going to the people who subscribed through that particular smart page. Talking about creating emails, let's go ahead and look at the email page just here and we can have a look at how we can create an email. So let's click the create email button and here we have our simple email creator. So if you want to send an email to the people that subscribed through your smart page, you can simply select the landing page signups email list. Then you can write your email subject and your preview text. And finally, you can write the main content for your email as well. Once you have finished creating your email content, you can either schedule to send it or send it immediately by using this button in the corner down here. Or alternatively, you can click the down arrow to save your email as a draft, or you could save it as a template so that next time you can spend less time writing your email. Now we also have a couple more options at the bottom down here. So we have email generator, templates, tags, preview and test. So test will make it so that you can send a test email to yourself so that you can see how it looks before you send it. Preview is similar. 
However, with preview, it will open a preview within SendFox. And if I save this as a template, this is where you'll be able to find it when you next write an email. You can simply click the templates button and find your saved templates. Now you can also use the email generator to generate your email using content from the social media accounts that you have connected to. So for example, I've connected my YouTube channel and my blog. So we can see my recently published blog posts and I can select the ones that I want to include in my email. So I want to include this one. In fact, I will only include this article. So I will select it. I could even include a video if I wanted to. However, I'm going to stick to this article for now. So now that I have selected the article that I want to include in my email, I can simply click generate email down here. And now we can see the email that it has generated for us. So I can then preview it by clicking the preview button and we can see how it looks on a computer and on a mobile as well. So now let's go back to the email page and we're going to have a look at the smart campaigns option. So let's turn this on. Now this will take us to the smart campaigns settings so we can send content updates to automatically draft an email for every publication from the selected sources. So let's say for example, I'll turn that one on and we have my blog and my YouTube channel selected as the sources. And we can also have a weekly newsletter, which will automatically draft one email per week, promoting the latest content from these sources. These are the exact same sources, my blog and my YouTube channel. And we can also choose to add the social media content from my connected Twitter account. And it gives us the option to include my most popular Twitter post of the week. Now we can then either auto schedule this email or we can schedule it manually. Now I'm going to leave it to schedule manually so that we can preview the email before it sends out. So then once you're happy with all of that, click save changes. And we can have a look by going back to the email page and we are simply going to click generate smart campaign. So let's click onto it to have a look. So this smart campaign has generated a weekly update email. So using the smart campaign option is a great way to promote your newest content to your email list subscribers. However, I do recommend previewing it before you send it out as if I scroll down, you can see that it has included the entire description for my YouTube videos. And I don't really think that that is necessary. So there will definitely be changes that you need to make to the automatically generated emails. However, it is a very interesting feature which I'm sure will be useful for some people. Finally, let's have a look at the automations tab. And here you can see that we can create an automation series. So let's click this button here. So here is our first prompt. This says start this series after a contact is added to this list. So we can choose either the first list that was automatically created or the landing page signups list, which was created when we created our smart page. So let's say we select the landing page signups email list. Okay. So the first trigger is added to the list landing page signups. So basically what this will do is automatically send an email when a subscriber is added to this specific list. So now we need to create the email that is sent. So we could either create our email content from scratch or we could use the email generator just to speed this up. And I'll go to articles and I'll select this one, this one, and this one, and I'll click generate email. And then you can add your subject and preview text as well. And once you have previewed your email, click save. And we can scroll back and go back to automation. So we have now successfully created an automated email sequence. So the trigger is when someone is added to this list. And what it will trigger is the email that we have just created. So in this example, as soon as someone subscribes to my email list through my landing page, they will be sent the email that we just created. Now this automated email sequence was just a test. So I'm going to go back to automations and I'm going to delete it just so that I don't accidentally send an email to someone that subscribes to my list. So let's go back to the dashboard 
And there we go. So you should now understand the basics of the SendFox email marketing platform. So that is all for the video. If SendFox looks like a tool that you would use, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description or you can simply Google SendFox. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.